Hello everyone and good afternoon today and welcome to Zara's Story Blog. Today I'm going to read a funny book called Do Not Bring Your Dragon to Recess. Written by Julie Gaisman and illustrated by Andy Earthen. Do not bring your dragon to recess. All morning you've worked and you've given your rest. You wrote, you read, you, you even took a math test. It's now time for recess. Well, you've earned a break. But before you head out, please avoid this big mistake. Do not bring your dragon to recess. The rules of the playground are heard for the beast. He'll break the first. So he'll break the first one as soon as he's released. He'll run. He'll sh he'll run through the halls like he's running a marathon. He'll shout to his friends. He'll bump into the principal with his point with his punky near end. So do not bring your dragon to recess. On the monkey bars, things will not improve. Your dramatic dragon will ruin your groove. She cries and whines. Her arms are too small. If she hangs from her tail, the whole line will stale. So this is the green dragon and she's whining and whining because her hands are way too small and if she does it on her tail, she'll the whole bar will come collapsing down and she will fall on her face. And the other kids are so bored because they're not getting a turn instead of hearing the green dragon's whining. Uh, this green dragon. So do not bring your dragon to recess. Now you see what I mean? This dragon is happy, but she bended the bar, and now the boy is about to slip off. And she's about to fly on. Maybe he'll vow to keep his feet on the ground and volunteer to push the merry-go-round. He'll start slow, but soon he'll run. Then the ride becomes more scary than fun. So do not bring your dragon to recess. Here's the dragon. All the kids are having fun. Some are feeling dizzy and some are feeling scared. And, and, but the dragon is the complete opposite. He's having fun. He's like, Whee! And now they're gonna just poof, fly in the air. You might consider a game for four square. Your dragon's a good sport. She always plays fair. But dragons are huge fans of these games. And when your dragon is excited, here comes the bad part, the flames. So do not bring your dragon to recess. Oh dear, I think she's way too excited, so that's why she burnt the bowl. She's, she's laughing and all the kids are just surprised and just looking at her with their mouths wide open. what you're saying and I admit to you that a dragon could create a real zoo but my dragon is smart he can learn all the rules he'll listen to his teachers when he's playing at school he'll be patient and take turns he'll share all the toys 
He'll be respectful and kind to all girls and boys, young and tall. So here's the dragon. Now he's well behaved. He really is a smart dragon. I know he can do it. You just have to say yes. May my may I please bring my dragon to recess? I'm in my mind dragons are always fire and wings. I I didn't know they were interested in slides and swings. But believe it, everyone deserves an, his or her chance to run, climb, to chase, or to dance. So if your dragon's respectful, I guess, he's more than welcome at school, at our school recess. So here's the dragon's, so here's the little girl who's the owner of the dragon, and here's the dragon having fun. Now everyone's smiling and having fun at him, and the dragon is smiling too. And that's the end of the story. So the summary of this book is that um, this girl has a pet dragon and the dragon she took to school but when it was recess time he wasn't so behaved. All the dragons were just flying and causing a bit of trouble, I mean causing trouble, but when the dragon learned some manners and how to be respectful and kind at recess, then the principal told him that he's more than welcome to to be at our recess any time he wants. Baba, me moral to worry me. Okay, so the moral of this story is that um. Uh, the moral of this story is that. If you make a mistake, you always have to learn what mistake you've made because just like the dragon in the story, he made a mistake that he was playing too rough, but then he realized his mistake and he was kind and gentle and that's how he was more than welcome to recess. So, so kids, if you make a mistake, remember to... Remember to learn your mistake and fix it the right way. And 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 don't hide your mistake. Tell tell the truth to the mistake. And if and um so if you want to listen to more of my stories, like and subscribe to Zara's Story Blog. Bye.